This is a 4th of July collaboration with me and a bunch of wonderful ladies. Their links to their videos will be in the playlist I'll have in my description box. So make sure you go check out their videos. Some of them may not do a video and just have a, a picture of their set on Instagram. So make sure you go to Instagram and check them out there. I will have a, a list of the, the names of all the girls that participated in the description box. Um, I even have some of my international friends that decided they wanted to do a 4th of July set. So I thought that was pretty wonderful. So I'm gonna talk about the history of the 4th of July. It's also known as Independence Day. It's been a federal holiday since 1941 but the tradition, the tradition goes back to the 18th century and the American Revolution. On July 2nd, 1776, the Continental Congress voted in favor of independence from England or Great Britain. Two days later, delegates from 13 colonies adopted the Declaration of Independence and it was drafted by Thomas Jefferson. We celebrate the 4th to commemorate the day that the United States laid claim to be a free and independent nation. The Declaration of Independence states the principles on which our government and our identity as Americans are based. Abraham Lincoln called it a rebuke and a stumbling block to tyranny and oppression which I think it used to be, but not so much now, seems like. The authors are Thomas Jefferson, Benjamin Franklin, John Adams, Roger Sherman, and Robert R. Livingston. What well, says we have inalienable rights, including life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness, that all men are created equal, and individuals have a civic duty to defend these rights for themselves and others. So the Constitution is the fulfillment of the Declaration of Independence. The Constitution doesn't get its own day for several reasons. We don't celebrate the Constitution. For one, it has many days. <clears throat> it was crafted over the course of of 1787's summer and finally adopted on September 17th, which is pretty cool because that's my birth date. To take effect, it had to be ratified and the 13 states did it over three years. And I believe Rhode Island was the last one to ratify it. <clears throat> the Bill of Rights the Ten Bill of Rights, number one being, <clears throat> excuse me, freedom of religion, speech, press, assembly, and petition. Well, we've lost a lot of that freedom. Right to keep and bear arms in order to maintain a well-regulated militia. They always say the first part of it, but they never finish it where it says to maintain a well-regulated militia. Now, Michigan has a militia, and they pretty much have been broken up because the powers that be, you know, don't want us to have a regulated militia. Um, three, no quartering of soldiers. Four, freedom from unreasonable searches and seizures. Five, right to due process of law. Six, a speedy trial. We've pretty much lost that one totally. Because <clears throat> now you can be arrested and, and, and held 
forever. Supposedly they have that right, even though the Constitution Bill of Rights says they don't. Um, right of trial by jury in a civil case. So if you get a speeding ticket, you know, you can, you can tell them you want a jury trial. Or, you know, just ticket for not stopping at a stop sign. They don't like that when you want to have a jury trial, though. It kind of pisses them off. Freedom from excessive bail. <clears throat> Cruel and unusual punishment. Nine, other right of the people. And ten, powers reserved to the states. And uh, that's how our government, Governor Whitmer said pretty much does whatever she wants. Because the federal government really can't say anything because it's her right, supposedly. But anyways, um, I'm, I'm pretty disappointed with our government and every aspect of it because it's all gone to shit. And I know I had a lot of sisters who didn't even want to do a 4th of July set because they're so disgusted with everything with the the police and how they're they're treating our black brothers and sisters and it's just disgusting but i you know wanted to celebrate our independence and you know our constitution and, and we really need to fight to keep our rights all of our rights in the constitution and if we don't, we're going to lose it. We're going to lose it forever. And, you know, it's going to get even shittier. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. <laughs> but these are my opinions. You may not agree with them. And I, I don't like getting political, but that's just my opinion. And uh, that's why I wanted to do this set. So that's about half of this video. I'll leave the second half for some music. And I hope you enjoy the set. So, see you towards the end. Talk to you towards the end.
So this is the finished set. The last one's in the lamp carrying. I'm gonna stick a few rhinestones on off video. Uh, there will be a picture at the very end with the rhinestones so you can see what the finished set looked like. I will have some links in my description box of some girls that need some watch time. I know Brandy from BRC Nails is really close. She only needs like 900 and something hours to, to reach her 4,000 so she can get monetized. So if you could help these girls out, me included, I'd really appreciate it. They would really appreciate it. Um, and I would really like to thank Helen you have been an angel you have been so helpful to all of us thank you very much Helen we all love you thank you again for watching and I will see you all in my next video have a great day bye